Listen, I've shared with you my story. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, he stretched his hand towards me and light at his brilliance. That light, and it didn't, it didn't shine on me. It entered me. When that light entered me, how I survived and did not die is a question I will ask him when we go to heaven because no man can receive that kind of light and still survive. As I began to study on light through the years, I would learn that the light of God is the basis of his illumination. Remember, sight is the eyes plus light. Sight is not because you have eyes. If you enter a dark room, even if your eyes are correct, you would not see because it takes a union of an eye and light to equal sight. So light entered me. But then I also read from Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 amplified. It says, and in that sun-like splendor is the hiding place of his power. That the power of God hides in his light. When you buy a perfume or you buy whatever product, they don't give you the product that you bought alone. Usually, it will come in a container. Am I, am I right on that? Or a carton or some packaging. You don't really need the packaging per se. The beauty and everything. Sometimes you can buy perfumes that are so small, but then the whole packaging can look like you are carrying a, 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 maybe an AC or something, and you keep opening layer to layer, and there you find the small thing. It's when you apply it, you will know the value of that small thing as small as it is. Am I right on that? So when the word of God comes, contained within it is his wisdom. Contained within it is his favor. But contained within it is his power. So what he was doing to me, Jesus, was not just working on my mind and my spirit. It was an infusion of spiritual power. That it is from the abundance of that which we receive that we speak over people over cities and nations and literally shift the spiritual climate of men systems and structures no man can do this it's not just about speaking i'm saying this so that as i speak over your life you truly believe with your heart you can stand and spectate and yet nothing happens to you but your heart can be open the Bible says, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have not come just by ourselves. We were sent. And they said, when I sent you, lackest thou anything? He equips when he sends. Are you ready to receive? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, the one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men. I speak over your life and I speak over your destiny. Every affliction that has brought you tears, that has brought you shame, that has brought you pain. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now. 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 He said, they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I've come as a voice of restoration. And in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to someone between now and the end of June, I stand by the God who has raised men, the one who has given the grace to appoint unto men. In the name of Jesus, between now and the end of June, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. I program strange testimonies around your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to everyone in ministry here. I don't know what has brought you down. I don't know what is the area of struggle. But I prophesy to you, rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. Rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may be here and your affliction has to do with losses and pains. You lost money. 
you lost things you lost relationships you lost opportunities in the name of Jesus like Samuel prophesied to Saul I decree and declare may that missing donkey whatever it is I command it to return back to your life I command it to return back to your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare you see look at me when it has to do with the world of men the way you pray over men is different from the way you pray over things because things were not given dominion so you can command them but when it has to do with men you can't command men per se because God honors their will are we together but there is a name God is called the father of spirits have you heard of that name before the father of spirits means every spirit can be summoned by him. The body is a slave to the spirit. Even those who practice witchcraft know this. When they summon people, they don't summon their bodies. Your body can remain in the room there and they can summon your spirit and manipulate it and return it back to the body and you wake up a victim of what has happened in the spirit. There is a name God is called the father your boss is a spirit you know that your business is first a spirit ah yes sir james said in chapter 2 and 26 a body without a spirit is dead situations are alive because they have spirits connected to them if you separate that situation from the spirit the situation will die because it becomes a body without a spirit are we together I'm saying this because of the prayer I want to pray for you. I may not have the power to command a human being to come to violate their will. But I can say, like Michael said, the Lord rebuke you. So I can call on the God who is the father of spirits and cause him to summon the spirit of your destiny helper. And insist that they find no rest till they bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And insist that they arise by the spirit and partner with prophecy over your life I decree this in the name of Jesus Christ the father of spirits watch him in action when he woke Ahasuerus from sleep the Bible says that night could not Ahasuerus sleep because the father of spirits needed Mordecai to be blessed watch the father of spirits move and he granted a dream to pharaoh and pharaoh was troubled by that dream and he could not sleep until joseph came to land light until daniel came to lamb light when god moves as the father of spirits men never rest until men are blessed mm. i'm praying it again i don't know who has been ordained by god Parakos to be stationed around your life and your destiny but in the name of Jesus Christ I call on my God who is also your God from now to the end of June may the father of spirits summon every destiny helper in the name of Jesus Christ and every negative spirit that has been attached to situations prolonging them there are situations that are no more natural when listen listen when spirits participate with bodies they create longevity to whatever process there is that means men can bless you based on the law of time and chance but when the spirit of favor comes upon you there is longevity to that blessing it does not stop are we together the same way watch this the same way somebody you can get a slight headache just as because of a wear and tear of your activity but when a spirit partners with that condition it will now have longevity the assignment of spirits is to sustain processes to bring they are the longevity factors anything you see staying unnecessarily long is already an indication that there is a spirit component that disfavor has stayed too long there is a spirit component are we together now that business issue that can be solved in one day has taken three four years there is a spirit that one 
is within the office of the believer to deal with let me speak over you that every unclean spirit like the bible calls it a spirit that is not of the christ that has attached itself to any situation around your life manipulating it and creating pain i separate you from that spirit now i separate you from that spirit now i separate you from that spirit now and i decree and declare let the blessing speak on your life let the blessing speak on your finances let the blessing speak over your family let the blessing speak over your ministry let the blessing speak go and prosper in the name of jesus rise and scale heights in destiny in the name of jesus i speak life to your prayer life life to your word study life in the name of jesus christ no one under the sound of my voice will die prematurely i say it again no one under the sound of my voice will die prematurely in the name of jesus christ and for one last time let me speak favor over you for god's sake let your heart be open to receive in the name of jesus i prophesy this grace that is called favor let it rest on your life let it produce extraordinary results men rise into your help men rise into your rescue god using men to roll away shame to roll away reproach in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. He said, He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Listen, say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to spirits, I speak to covenants, I speak to altars holding my life, holding my destiny. By the covenant of the blood, release my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. So take it. 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 Take Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every physical reality reoccurring in my life that I do not like. Whatever program you in the realm of the spirit, I cancel that programming now. Lift your voice and pray. The spiritual programming responsible for unfavorable outcomes, bad luck, wickedness. I break you. I stop your function. Pray your way. Pray your way to the next level. Pray your way out of recession. Pray your way to power and dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. That any element of the supernatural that has been hijacked by darkness and is being manipulated against my destiny, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I destroy you now. Lift your voice and pray. 
to minister to you i tell you if i if god shows you what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and the way doors are opening up when you force it it will open help those under the anointing you see people getting their deliverances strange miracles being released hallelujah say in the name of jesus any spiritual and human agent who is in partnership with any spiritual law to fight me this night I release judgment on you lift your voice and pray I command judgment I command judgment I command judgment I provoke judgment I command judgment I invoke judgment upon anyone in partnership in fraternity with the powers of the heaven to walk against my life I provoke judgment may the God of vengeance arise tonight in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus oh at hear the word of the Lord oh winds hear the word of the Lord I decree I declare to every element of the supernatural bring my breakthrough bring my blessings bring my favor lift your voice and begin to pray i speak to the earth the prophet said for out of it comes bread i provoke my portion i provoke my portion Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Hear what I'm saying and pray it with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Every law stopping you from coming to my help I release you now manifest in my destiny lift your voice and pray I release you every helper over koinonia every helper over my destiny every helper over your destiny I release them Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Let's pray one last prayer point. And then I'll begin to prophesy over your life. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants. Associated with my family. Every altar. Associated. With the pain. Of my family. Tonight. As an ambassador. I stand. On behalf of my loved ones. And I cancel those ordinances. Lift your voice. Cancel it. Ordinances of death. Ordinances of bad luck. Negative ordinances against my loved ones. Stopping their rising. Stopping their triumph. Stopping their shining. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, raise your hand. Just raise your hand and be, and be silent. Just a keyboard. Please raise your hand if you can. Just be silent. Seeing the angels of the Lord just move. I command right now, stretching my hands. I'm seeing many padlocks in the realm of the spirit. All padlocks, all padlocks, and I'm about to speak to them now. That somebody's destiny being opened now in the name of Jesus. Everyone here. Who is represented in the vision that I've seen? Let your destiny open now. I command deliverance. Deliverance to your destiny. I open it. Soto sotos. I open it. I open it now. I open it now. Inside, outside, online, I open it now. The yoke of bad luck, repeated cycles of misfortune over anyone here. You may not know it, hear me. But if there is anyone carrying a negative yoke that is commanding everything around you to be negative I see fire coming on a few people it's a massive deliverance that will happen now at the count of three may the fire from the throne room locate such a one and burn off those shafts right now one two three right now right now right now Sokoto Sabada inside outside the fire from the throne is falling on destinies falling on destinies bad luck misfortune bad luck misfortune it must come to an end hallelujah I want you to repeat this after me and then just be silent say after me in the name of Jesus Lord visit negative patterns repeated patterns in my life now just keep quiet just keep quiet that's the instruction just keep quiet 
and watch what happens now. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, Lord, inside and outside, break patterns, break patterns, break patterns, break patterns, repeated patterns, repeated patterns. My God, my God, I, I see, I see, I know this is the vengeance of God. Patterns you may not know, but you are under an atmosphere and an unction that is about to change your life. Break patterns, break patterns, oh God. hallelujah God wants to use you the Lord wants to deliver fathers not mothers fathers but he wants to use you here the Lord is showing me there are at least between 31 to 41 people fathers right now with negative things on their head God is going to use you as a point of contact Lord let your power move to those ones 41 I place that word in the realm of the spirit now in the name of Jesus I place that word in the name of Jesus if it comes upon you there's something in your family if it once it comes on you just know there's something in your family if you have never known it know it now if that fire lands on your head there is something in your family that is giving way no you can't escape it except it's not on your parents if it is on them it must be visited now the vengeance of the God of Israel inside outside inside outside that sword of vengeance Hallelujah. there is a sister here the fire of restoration is landing on you now there is a sister is coming from heaven strong restoration of your spiritual life strong restoration of the operation of favor in your life whatever happened to it is over it's coming afresh now coming afresh now coming afresh now every negative voice that speaks to your spirit and misleads you making you believe it is the spirit of god i challenge right now every antichrist voice masquerading as the voice of the spirit giving you instructions every negative voice masquerading as the holy ghost speaking to you giving you instructions that are activating wrong laws in your life i command judgment on those spirits now hallelujah just be patient with me we're rounding up i, I tell you the liberty the liberty that I see in the realm of the spirit, even me, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing. Satisfied with what I'm seeing. Very, very strange breakthroughs. What is left for you now is to await the physical manifestation. Remember, I told you, it's always in the realm of the spirit. You just thought you fell. No, keep watching. You will soon see dimensions of breakthrough. That even you you will not be able to account for some of you will start make sure you testify many of you from tomorrow you will hear your loved ones even things they didn't discuss with you they don't know what happened but you know what happened to them I prophesy over your life carry favor carry favor from the realm of the spirit let there be a release of favor passing through the hands of men 
into your life in the name of Jesus hear me I've not prayed for students writing exams people have been sending me text messages I'm not happy with let's change some things now every mistake you have made in your exams that is reflective of your humanity that is reflective of your carelessness from the realm of the spirit we correct it now from the realm of the spirit we correct it now anyone here the lord gave the word great are the company of those that publish the word it's in our interest to see that the knowledge of the word of the lord covers the earth as the waters covers the sea remember in the beginning god said let there be light and there was light we bring you the light of the word of the lord through the word by the mouth of his servant apostle joshua selman do well to subscribe strike the notification bell and don't forget to share to your loved ones families and friends. God bless you.